Good day everyone. I am Midshipman Padrid, John Christopher Y from BSM TNM 6B2. So for today's video, I will discuss to you and explain to you the emergency procedures when it comes to collision, a grounding, okay, and also the rescuing or rescuing the persons that is fell overboard. And also, uh, I will discuss to you and explain to you the uh, safety procedure or the protections from the uh, passenger in case of emergency situation. So first, let's talk about the collision. So uh, collision of the vessel, so despite the fact that the technology improved the shipping industry in a certain or in many ways, ship collisions will continue to occur or even still exist making them one of the most common type of maritime accidents. And also, uh, collision, as we all know, that this is the structural effect between the vessel that can result in serious damage or even loss of human life at sea. So there's a lot of things or there's a lot of factors that we'll have to consider from this kind of incident. So first one, first factor is what we call the lack of communication non-compliance with the collision regulation or the international rules of the road. Okay. The third is failure of critical system in terms of vessels navigation. Number four, negligence. And number five, let's consider the bad weather condition. So just like the incident happened on MV St. Thomas Aquinas and Sulpicio Express 7 of Philippine Span Asia Center Company. So on the night of August 16, 2013, the former Togo liner MV St. Thomas Aquinas was rammed on the side by the container ship Sulpicio Express 7 of Philippine Span Asia Center Company or what we call the PSACC within 1.2 miles or 2 kilometers of the coast of Cebu, Philippines. Since the PSACC vessel feared the coming of sinking victim, she pulled, okay, she pulled back with the Astern propulsion okay, in order or to abide the sinking of the vessel. And that's the reason of the uh, cause, causes of water flood in the hull of St. Thomas Aquinas and she sunk in a matter of minutes and this is uh, what usually happens when there is an underwater gash in the hull. So uh, what you call this the crash claimed with 137 people and result, uh, result with the massive uh, oil leak that impacted the Mactan Island. So as the result of investigation the uh, Sulpicio Line 7 was in the inbound direction, not the outbound lane, according to Captain Galliper of Trans Asia 9. And also, the uh, Board of Marine Inquiry or the BMI, okay, uh, the Philippine agency charged with assessing blame. Assess with the liabilities that uh, after more than a year and this was confirmed by their supervisory body, or what we call the DOTC, the Department of Transportation and Communication. It avoided making a judgment solely within the basis of collision regulation and instead focus on technicalities according to result. So, uh, we have the two main factors from the incident happened the collision between the MV St. Thomas Aquinas and also the Sulpicio Express 7 of PSACC. So first one is the lack of communication. So why? Lack of communication, inappropriate use of BHF, okay? Im uh, improper use of the Channel 16. The third is the negligence. And the fourth is what we call the non-compliance with the Colreg or non-compliance with the international rules of the road. So, uh, what are the emergency procedures that uh, should be taken from that uh, incident happened? So first, inform the master or the engine or inform the bridge or the engine room. Second, check all available means uh, before you departure or arrival from that area. Okay. 
And the third is communicate with the respective vessel when you are near the approaching on your boat side. So, from that incident happened between the MV St. Thomas Aquinas and the Sulpicio Express Chete of the Philippine Asia or the Philippine Pan Asia Center Company or what we call the PSACC. So, we have two main factors. So, first is what we call the lack of communication. So, improper use of this uh, BHF or the portable BHF radio. Okay? Uh, improper or the... Uh, inappropriate use of the channel 16. The second is non-compliance with the international rules of the road or what we call the collision regulation. So what are the emergency procedures should be taken uh, to lessen that kind of casualty? So first, inform the master or the engine. The second, send a distress or send an immediate distress signal uh, the third is assess the damage and the fourth also always obey and follow the rules and regulation which is the collision regulation to avoid that kind of incident which is the collision. When we talk about the uh, grounding, this is the human error is one of the most common cause of ship aggrounding accidents. Why? Because this is also because of the lack of information from the port, unknown coral reefs and rocks, and also the port publications. And with this, it should be identified with the uh, maneuvering inattention and also with the improper navigational operation. So what should we do or what are the emergency procedures that should be taken when we are in ship aggrounding or to lessen this kind of casualty? So number one is what we call of take an immediate action. Okay. Number two, what we call the uh, immediate send a distress signal as well. Number three, stop the engine. Okay. Number four, um, instantly checking or instantly checking in order to ascertain the internal damage of the structure of your vessel and also internal damage of the structure of your vessel and also uh, from that point take and assess the uh, internal damage of your hull because there's a possible pollution from that kind of incident which it which is ships a grounding accident so keep safe from that point let's talk about the man overboard operation or the man overboard situation uh, this mob is uh, i discussed last time so what are the emergency procedures or the contingency, uh, contingency procedure when it comes to man overboard situation so first we have the primary actions so number one is what we call the shout shout man overboard on the starboard side on port side and also inform the bridge to let you notify the situation where you are in the second is what we call the throw throw a dan buoy light buoy or the light ring or even the uh, Boy, uh, buoyancy objects that uh, will help will help the person that is spell overboard the third is what we call the point okay point or keeping eye on the victim that is spell overboard to let him survive and back on the vessel so these are the emergency procedures when it comes to man overboard situation and also uh, don't forget to execute the maneuvering characteristic, the recovery method, such as the Williamson turn, Skaranov turn, and also the Anderson turn. So, all the topic that I've discussed is in relation with the COSWP, or what we call the Code of Safe Working Practices for Merchant Seafarer. So, this is for the protection and also for the safety of passengers, not only the passengers, but the crew and also the vessel. So, let's have a uh, situational awareness. Okay? Situational awareness, having a good perception at your surroundings at all times and also comprehending of 
what is happening when you are uh, doing this and also let's also pray to our omnipotent God who are uh, giving us strength to uh, work hard for our family okay so keep safe and God bless mga kadriben